Anyways. Oh my God. First you're posting on r slash adultery and then you're saying anyways. Good God, there is no bottom to your depravity. Welcome to people of Reddit, and oh my god. In the span of one weekend, I found both my least favorite and my most favorite subreddits. I know I say, uh, this is one of my favorite subreddits, but no, this is my absolute favorite subreddit. So how many of you have been over to the adultery subreddit? That's not my favorite one, by the way. That's, that's the least favorite. Let me read you their pinned post, just to give you a little bit of a, an idea of who they are. This is a message to those visiting from r slash surviving infidelity, or anyone generally anti-adultery. <laughs> anti adult You mean like normal? Like that seems, I don't know very many, like I don't think I've ever met anyone who says I'm not anti-adultery. It gets better. This sub is aimed at people either one, in an affair, or two, thinking about affairs. The goal is to offer a place for those thinking or pursuing this path can talk about all aspects in an open setting. Okay, you are more than welcome to interact with everyone here, ask questions, or provide your own insights. This sub is obviously pro-adultery, but there is... Wait. <laughs> pro-adultery? What? This is, the... is there a thieving subreddit? Is there some, like, well, you can say what you want. We're, we're for stealing shit. Okay, so get off your high horse. Pro-adultery. <laughs> My favorite phrase ever now. But there is nothing against the rules regarding opposing viewpoints. However, there are some things I'd appreciate you keep in mind. I'm not gonna read the rest of it, but I just wanted to give you an idea of this. You absolutely get banned from that subreddit for saying, anything making adultery look like it might be a bad idea. <laughs> they hate that. Oh yeah, all of the loyal people are here to shit on us. Which is how I found in an elaborate thread, my new favorite subreddit, r slash adultery hate. Now to give you an idea of who they are, I'm gonna read you their sidebar. It said, this is not a place for healing or to give others advice. There are other subs for that, which are listed in the sidebar. This place is just an outlet for that bubbling rage that is too familiar for far too many. Though you could argue that it is healing. All right. If there's one group of people that I am very comfortable shitting on, it would be cheaters. So this was cross-posted from user We Are Animals from r slash adultery. The cross-post title is The Man Who Made an Oath in Front of All His Loved Ones to Spend His Life Loving and Honoring His Wife and is now shitting all over that oath with his life partner. He's monogamous for sure. He cheats on his wife and he lives with her, but yes, He's faithful to you when you're hours apart. <laughs> now the post itself says mid thirties, single woman and married man in a long distance relationship. Need to talk to someone who will understand. Can I trust a married man to be monogamous? He says he is, but I have doubts because of a couple of Facebook friends. I want to confront him, but if he deletes them or changes privacy settings, I'll be in the dark. User PM me DNA responded, how the fuck does anyone want an affair to be monogamous? He's already cheating with the woman he pledged his life to. By definition, he's still going to go back to the wife or have more affair partners. User Shinez says, only self-delusional fuckwits expect monogamy while cheating with a married man. But my vagina is so good. How could he not be monogamous? I'm so great. But he is married. He told me he wasn't happily married and they don't have sex anymore, so that doesn't count. I'm the only one he needs to be faithful with. He's married, well he's not happy. Our next post titled, Imagine risking your life to take care of someone who doesn't think you're enough. Poor man. And it's a cross post from r slash adultery entitled, My affair was all fake. <laughs> All right. Two year affair with married man, affair partner, when this COVID-19 pandemic kicked off and lockdown started, had not heard from him in seven days. No check-in, text, nada to the woman he supposedly loved. Oh, is he mistreating the woman he supposedly loves? What a dick. I became ill with COVID two weeks ago, sputtering my guts up, tight chested, Gasping for air, the most unpleasant illness I've ever had, wondering if I was going to be one of the unlucky ones. 
My significant other was holding me throughout the night, stroking my back and hair, knowing that he would probably catch it from me. That is real love, not bullshit ego massaging. Married man has been swiftly blocked and deleted. Times like this, you know who is important and who isn't. I don't feel like it should have taken a worldwide pandemic for you to realize that your loyal husband is more important than this random piece of ass you're getting on the side. Now, this might be the weirdest comment I found on this subreddit, but I'm not sure because all of them have basically the same level of delusion. Now, it's fine at first. This was a comment from an actual person on the r slash adultery subreddit. Wiseguy9595 says, I sure hope you get better soon. My situation is a little different because my wife and I have an understanding. In the 25 years I've been married, I can remember at least half a dozen times when my wife or I took care of each other when one of us was very sick. When you draw your last breath, it's a safe bet your affair partner won't be there to hold your hand. It will be your significant other. Now that's all pretty sound advice right there, huh? <laughs> Until the last sentence where he says, it's not that your affair was a fake, it probably wasn't grounded in a sound foundation. What? <laughs> it sounds like a person talking about a marriage. It really does. <laughs> Your affair isn't built on a solid foundation. <laughs> you sound like if a pastor gave an advice on how to have a successful affair. This next post is called, Play Stupid Games, Win Stupid Prizes. It's a cross post from r slash adultery. It's entitled, Just Tanked My Entire Life. I am completely and totally fucked. I'm 36, been married to my wife 10 years, and been sleeping with a 28-year-old woman. I only did it because my wife never wants to do anything anymore. Yesterday, the woman I've been seeing tells me she's pregnant, and it's mine, and she's fucking keeping it. Already picturing my life once this comes out. Alimony and child support are going to leave me broke as shit. I grew up poor as fuck and I can't go back to that way of living. Why the fuck would she want to fucking keep it? When she knows this is going to obliterate my entire fucking life, I don't know. Fuck! Oh, you poor thing. Now I spent a lot of time on this r slash adultery looking up post for this and for a bit like they seemed like obviously delusional people which maybe they are but i think i'm starting to understand i i don't think they're delusional so much i think that they know they're hypocrites and they're just cool with it so this is great the cross post is entitled lol like anyone would expect adultery fetishists to be responsible people the post itself is called stay the fuck home i get it we are a sub of horrible, selfish people. But really, who the fuck are you people still seeing your affair partner? Do you all not have vibrators, hand, imagination, FaceTime? Is getting laid right now more important than your spouse or affair partner? More important than their grandma, kids? Yes, a kid died of the virus here in the States. Wait a minute, I gotta read that back. Is getting laid right now more important than your spouse? I think you've already all decided that it is, right? <laughs> Just by virtue of being here. Full disclosure, I had coronavirus. Have no idea where I got it. It was no joke. Could have easily infected my affair partner. Oh, poor guy. Had plans to see him before state went into lockdown. One of his significant other's parents just had a stroke and I know his wife's family thinks this is a hoax. I know it's a crazy time, but is it a little fun now? Worth never seeing your kid, significant other, or a fair partner again? And if you hate your significant other that much, please see the writing on the wall. There's a lot of things that I'm just perplexed with on this one. Got some great comments though. First comment from the r slash adultery board comes from user lady 38 who is clearly not very self-aware, says, it makes me happy, all the people who are on board with this post. Seriously, I am horny and bored with my spouse. I have a potential affair partner I have been close to sealing a deal with. It's hard to hold back, but I am not an impulsive adolescent and try... <laughs> I'm not even gonna read the rest of it. That's just funny. I am not an impulsive adolescent. <laughs> Clearly you're not. This dude got downvoted to hell on r slash adultery because he wanted to see his whore. 
<laughs> he wanted to see his affair partner anyway. He said, well, I suppose 2020 can't get any more strange. Rather than someone coming from surviving infidelity, coming over to give us their self-righteous indignation speech, we get one of our own to give us their turn instead. What's so different from this speech to the ones where someone claims that not being monogamous exposes our significant other to potential STDs? Please tell me how this is different. It isn't, are you trolling? Like he's the only one that gets it. Like this isn't any different from those people who don't cheat on their spouses telling us it's bad to cheat on our spouses. The only one here that's self-aware, I guess but I don't think he knows he's self-aware. So he's self-unaware or something, uh, whatever that means. R slash adultery hate had my favorite comment. I'm also a nurse, but I won't miss any of these people who die for a piece of ass. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you for going through this journey with me, discovering my new favorite subreddit, r slash adultery hate. Let me know in the comments what is the most delusional thing you have ever heard a cheater say to justify their actions. And make sure to like and subscribe if you want to return for some more righteous hatred.